What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Dre. Um, give me a quick review on this uh, Taurus PT840C. Um, this is just a range review to let you know my experience. I took it to the range this weekend and uh, put about 50 rounds through it. The weapon fired perfectly every round. Never had a misfire, jam, misfeed. Um, a failure to eject or anything. Uh, it was absolutely perfect. Um, I did notice that the recoil wasn't real bad. Um, it was actually pretty easy to get right back down range with the next round. Get right back to sighting, no problem. Um, my 13-year-old daughter put a few rounds through it. She handled it perfectly. Um, I actually hit the bullseye a couple of times. So, um, I mean, it's not a hard weapon to use as far as um, being able to sight with it and get down range with your um, with your rounds. If she can do it, uh, never firing a gun before, um, then I think anyone should be able to. Um, I used the 15-round mag and the 11-round mag. Both of them worked perfectly. Didn't have any issues there. I know those people had said something about... Um, when they fired the weapon, they were hitting the mag release. I believe it just may be in the way they're holding the weapon. Uh, I didn't have that issue. Um, I had the Packmeyer rubber grip on it, so um, that got added extra comfort while I was shooting the weapon. Um, but all in all, it handled excellent. Um, I love the short reset of the trigger. Uh, it allowed you to go ahead and put the next round down range really quick. Um, I did a little bit of rapid firing with it. And um, it went excellent, uh, as everything else did with the weapon. Um, not one hiccup at all. I actually got to compare it to a Glock 26 and a Glock 27 over the weekend. And um, I actually prefer this over either one of those. Um, so I got to say, I got much respect for Taurus on this bill um, for this weapon. Uh, very well made weapon. Um, very comfortable to shoot very fun to shoot um i'm actually going to be taking it back out this week putting a few more rounds through it so uh hopefully we won't have any hiccups there either um the sights uh, a lot of people talk about they had their weapon shooting low um due to the sights on the gun i didn't have that issue it was actually very accurate so uh i don't know if it's just certain bills that people are getting that are you know having a few issues or what or if they're just not used to shooting this particular weapon or what the what the issue is um but i think i shot better with this one than i have any other weapon i've used in the past actually but um this will be my daily carry weapon um i would trust my life with this weapon it's very reliable very dependable so um if you're in the market to get you a new weapon, you're looking for a 40, um, I think this would be your one. Um, I see a lot of videos for the PTA 40, but not the PTA 40C, which is this weapon right here. Um, and I actually, I love it. Um, this holster here was actually purchased for uh, PT 111 Pro, and uh, it actually works perfectly for the weapon. Um, I was shooting. Um, just some downrange ammo, as you can see. Nothing major. Uh, I put a few hydro shocks through it. Um, and uh, it went perfect, man. Uh, it will eat whatever you put in it, basically. So, um, if you want to put some cheap ammo to go downrange, I would feel more than free to do it. Um, I wouldn't have any issues with it. Um, it will eat, I think it will pretty much eat anything you put in there. With no problem. Um, it conceals very well as well. Um, once I put it in this holster and put it under the shirt, it's gone. Uh, this is a, in the waistband holster, so made by the holster store. So um, I like it a lot, and it works perfectly with this weapon. So I hope if you decide to go ahead and get one, you enjoy it as much as I have. Um, I look forward to hopefully purchasing another one in the future with a stainless steel slide. Um, since I enjoyed it so much, um, I think I will go ahead and do that as soon as I can find one. They're pretty hard to find, so at least around here.
but that's it.